This is the Heliod X wind turbine made by General Electric. With an energy output of 14 megawatts, one machine alone is capable of powering 16,000 European homes. One rotation of GE's Heliod X can power a household for two days. The highest point of the wind turbine is 260 meters high, making it currently the biggest wind turbine in terms of total height. In comparison, the Eiffel Tower is 330 meters high. It is a wind turbine that will be used in the world's largest offshore wind farm projects around the world, including the UK and the US, to ensure a green renewable energy supply. But determining the biggest wind turbine in the world wasn't easy as the industry is developing very quickly. New records are being set and the biggest wind turbines outbid each other in various categories, such as power, rotor diameter, and overall height. So we take a closer look at new innovations and new records set by companies that are in a head-to-head -head race for the biggest and most powerful plants. Join us as we explore the massive potential of wind power and the projects that will change everything for the industry. We also found a new innovation that solves the biggest problem of renewable energy, weather dependency. A unique, ingenious concept supplies electricity even without wind. From windmills of antiquity and the Middle Ages, to wind pumps for making the swampy Netherlands habitable. Wind power technology has done a great job of advancing our civilization ever since. The American windmill, invented by Daniel Halliday in 1854, was used mostly for lifting water from wells, but also for tasks such as sawing wood, chopping hay, and shelling and grinding grain. Even though the technology itself nowadays has advanced tremendously there is still a long way to go and great potential that still needs to be developed. If we take a closer look at the Global Wind Atlas, we'll notice that the greatest potential of wind power is at sea marked in red on this map. That's also the reason why the biggest wind farms of the world are currently under construction offshore. The Dogger Bank Wind Farm in the North Sea will be the largest in the world. 277 of the Haliodex wind turbines will be installed here. When construction is complete, this wind farm is expected to supply 6 million homes in the UK with renewable energy. And the US has also purchased 62 of those wind turbines for its first offshore wind farm. The usable energy increases proportionately by increasing the windswept area of the rotor blades. The larger the wind turbine, the higher the electricity yield. So it is no surprise that wind turbines are getting bigger and bigger and some companies are competing to build the biggest, most innovative, and most efficient wind turbines in the world. One world record is set after another. Another world record for the biggest rotor diameter goes to Siemens Gamesa's 14 megawatt wind turbine. The prototype was installed in Denmark and with a rotor diameter of 222 meters, it covers an area of 39,000 square meters. That's the same area as five and a half soccer fields. In just one day, it generated 359 megawatts of electricity. That's another record set by this turbine. This amount could supply a household of four with an average consumption for 100 years. Or you could drive about 44 times around the world with an electric car. And the next generation of this turbine with a diameter of 236 meters is also in planning. So we can see it only gets bigger and bigger with a head-on-head -head race between companies. However, the prototype of the biggest, largest, and the most powerful turbine will be installed in 2023 by a Chinese company. A 16-megawatt turbine with a rotor diameter of 242 meters. Just one rotor alone of this turbine will be bigger than the Statue of Liberty. The serial production and commercial use in offshore wind farms will start in 2024. Only four years ago, the maximum capacity for wind turbines was 8 megawatts. Now, just a few years later, the figure has doubled as top wind energy companies race towards the goal of 20 megawatt plants. But what if no wind blows at all? 
a unique, ingenious concept, wants to solve exactly that problem. In 2017, General Electric built the highest onshore turbines with 246.5 meters in Germany. But it was something else which made them so unique. To ensure a more stable power supply, they installed a water battery inside the foundation, a so-called pumped hydro storage. It has a capacity of 70 kilowatt hours, which is the same as 20 hours of work of one turbine alone. The efficiency of this storage is about 80 to 90 percent, and a major advantage is the capacity does not decrease with time as it is in lithium-ion batteries. But honestly, it is not an ideal solution for long-term storage. If the wind isn't available longer than 20 hours, the reserves are exhausted. This is also the reason why the world's largest battery manufacturer has introduced a new battery completely made of salt instead of lithium. This salt battery will be used for long-term storages as it is about 80% cheaper and more efficient. The mass production of this new battery starts in 2023, and even Tesla has long-term contracts for its electric vehicles. Is this the battery revolution that everyone has been waiting for? Click the displayed video if you want to see more about the new battery.